So now I'll solder all six of these. You'll notice that a solder ball forms rather than a nice fillet on the first joint. This is caused by the solder being put on the tip of the soldering iron. When this happens, the flux is not able to clean the surfaces of the metal and allowing good adhesion to the surfaces that need to be soldered. You can see a bridge formed in this last one that I did. I can draw that bridge out just with the with the soldering iron like I did. I can draw a little bit out if I think it's there's too much there. Yeah, that looks good. Looks like there's another bridge right here too. And solder bridges are solder that touches two pins. There, it's cleaned up. Now we need to wire the individual wires from these pins to these pins in the correct order. When I take this out, this should be perfectly set in using this to keep it in place. I created a diagram so I would know uh, the pin configuration of the SPI, which is the, um, the wiring scheme that they use for the, uh, the plug of the SPI. Um, and it starts with the um, MISO, which is master in, slave out, with the top left, and we're going to start with that one. So I'll start with a long piece of wire. I'm going to put it to this location, since this is the, this is the um, MISO, or master in, slave out, pin location. And it's going to go to this location here. And I'll cut it to about this length, so I'll have enough wire to get all the way in. The first wire is in, Now we're going to solder this down. So the trick here is to actually, you want a bridge. First I'm going to solder this end down. And you want this wire to touch this first pin. I'm going to add a little bit of extra solder, and we're going to draw up. That didn't work yet, so let me add some more solder. Bring the two together, and draw it up. Now we have a solder bridge. The excess can be clipped. That looks good. Now to do the other side. We're going to do the same thing and create a solder bridge. And that looks good. Now we have to test to see if those two, those two terminals are touching each other or are connected. So I'm going to use a multimeter to do that. We'll use the ohm setting to test for continuity. So I'll connect one end to the pin, and then the other end to the pin below. It looks like we have continuity. I'm going to check the contextual pins, the ones next to it, to make sure we don't have any bridges with those. No. It doesn't bridge with that one, and it doesn't, doesn't bridge with that one. It looks like we have a good first wire soldered. We'll go on to the, um, the first one up here, which is the MOSI, Master Out Slave In, and that connects to the very middle pin here, <coughs> which is this pin right here. So this pin is going to be connecting to this pin here. Measure the wire, cut the wire, and insert. So from the middle pin to the first pin, the top, which is for the MOSI, Master Out Slave In. I'm going to do another bridge. So just get enough solder on there that it'll span the two and create those bridges. And go on to this one. successful bridge. Now we can test it. Looks like we have good contact. Nothing hitting on this other pins. Let's try this one. Nothing, nothing. Good. So we made a good connection from this pin to the middle pin here. Now we'll put together the third pin down, which is the SCK, it's a clock, and it goes to the opposite pin on the middle. 
So let's put a wire connecting this one, this pin, to the SCK pin. So we're gonna connect with another wire from this pin to this pin here. Third pin, you wanna make sure that profile as low as possible so this can still plug in. So we're gonna solder that. First I will apply solder to the to the wire. That's a good bridge. And I can cut the end off. And I will cut the other end I just made and then solder this one. Okay, good bridge on that one. Now we can test the connection to see if we soldered correctly. Now we have to test the pins, see if we have a good connection. Okay, so I'm connecting to that one. And now we solder to this pin. We've got a good connection. I'll see if any other pins around it accidentally got soldered to it. Nope. Okay, and I'll check the other pins. Nope, nope, good. So that was successful. Now to wire up the, wire the fourth one down, which is reset, and it goes to the bottom left position, which is right here. It goes to the fourth one down. Now we're adding the reset from the bottom left pin to the fourth. Now we have this inserted nicely. You wanna make sure that this hole and this hole remain clear so we can still get access to those because um, they're going to be going into these two holes. Now to solder the this wire in. Okay, that's a good bridge. Okay, good bridge. Now time to test. Okay, we have a good connection. Now we're gonna test the next door neighbors. That's good. Put it back on the pin. <clears throat> and test these neighbors. That's good, and that's good. Okay, these solders are good. Now we have two more wires to put in, and that's the VCC and the ground. Shh. So the next wire we'll put in is the uh, VCC, which is the plus five volts. And it's gonna head to the second to the last, which is the fifth pin. So now we need to have the wire from this pin to the sec to the second to the last pin. So it's the top left pin to the second to the last pin. I'll just put that wire in. I'll probably use that device again. Keep the wire. That looks like a good bridge. And now for the last, and for the other end of the wire, good bridge. Now we need to test it. It was the second to the last, which is this one. And we're gonna connect it to the top left. And that works. Let's check the other pins around it. That's good. Good. So it's a good good solder. So the last wire is the ground wire, which is the bottom right, and it goes to the very last pin. So now we've put in the last pin, which is the ground pin, the bottom right, next to the bottom right pin here, and to the last pin, this location. Okay, so I'm going to solder these two and then create a bridge, good bridge. And then on the last one. I got a little bit too much solder on that one. Bobby was dead. But it's not going to be touching anything, so it's not something to worry about. Yeah. Okay, now it's time to test. I'm going to snip off the wires that are protruding. <laughs> now to test. 
to make sure we have good contact. That was the last one. Okay. That is the ground. So the ground is going to here. Good connection. And try the thing around it. Looks like we don't have any shorts. And we'll test this one. Nothing. Good. Okay. The wiring is complete.